Hey guys, decided to take the day, this nice summer afternoon, to finish wiring the window and the locks on the back right door. Uh, oh, oh, hi Brian, how are you? <laughs> Brian was playing in the sprinklers. Bridger, get back over here! Anyway, so I've got the interior torn apart right now. I'm going to be splicing in this little chunk of harness and we're going to come up under the front the front door sill here. There we go. I'm going to splice this all in right here like I did on the on the driver's side. So, wish me luck. I'll try not to I'll try not to burn my toes with the solder iron cuz I've got the flip-flops on today. <laughs> I'll try not to drop any hot solder down between my toes and uh, within any with any luck we'll have the we'll have the locks and the window working on that door Brian <laughs> you're driving awesome what are you up to figured out something for dinner what do you got there what do you have there Nice. Yeah. All right, I got this spliced in. This one here ripped the heat shrink tubing all to bits. So I'm just going to wind that up with some uh, electrician's tape. All of these are going to get covered in electrician's tape again uh, before I close this all up and seal it up. These two are for this little... It's uh, the truck that I got the second half of the harness from was one that had uh, like running board steps, but this truck is not equipped with that, so <laughs> I'll just leave that out. That's what those two extras are for. Now we're going to move up here and splice this mess in here. And then before too much longer, I need to clean this. I need to detail it. It is filthy and disgusting. Yeah. Yes. Stop driving my truck! Dad? Alright, you ready, Blo? Yep. You ready to see if this is going to work? My window opens. That one is really slow. Can I go all the way? Mine's really slow, it needs a little bit more. There we go. It's still slow. Dad, can you put in my um, jammy? Alright guys, I'm all done with hooking up this here window and the door lock. Um, this window goes much slower than that window. And it could be that this door here came off of a much older vehicle, like an, I don't know, 01 or newer, and this is an 06. So it might just be more worn out, so that window might just, the regulator might just be getting old and tired. So I may just buy a new regulator and put into there to try to get the windows to, uh, to go up and down at the same speed. Um, one other thing I did notice, since this is an older door, the um, door ajar switch is opposite of what it should be. It should be a normally, let's see, should be normally open, but it's a normally closed. So I've just unplugged it for now. Uh, I'll have to go and find the right switch. And then I do have to modify the harness inside the door to get the right switch to work. Once I do that, then all three of these doors should work correctly. Oh, one other thing. Today when I was driving, uh, the AC compressor started making a lot of racket, even though the AC was shut off. I went and looked in the hood, and the clutch is just coming apart and then there's a bunch of little details I still have to splice I have to splice the headliner still 
And then, uh, what else? Oh, the very rear bolts right here, the body mount bolts. I haven't got those put in yet because the bottom body mount bushing, uh, I need the ones that have that are threaded and I don't have those so right now I'm running with six body mounts instead of eight not the end of the world but I would be feel a lot more comfortable with them all on there and then I was missing one of the bed mount bolts so I've got seven instead of eight I'll get that put on too pretty soon I also have to put the the fender flares on the front and I've been putting that off because they're from an f550 they hang down here and they'll, they'll get chewed up by the tires so I've got to cut them off and I've just been putting it off because it's gonna be a pain in the butt and it's gonna take a long time so I've just been driving the truck around enjoying it with it having holes in the in the fenders <laughs> but it's coming together it's been a lot of fun <laughs> every time I drive it somebody wants to talk to me about it every time that I drive it Somebody wants to take pictures of me or video me while we're on the freeway. So, hopefully nobody will crash into me, but it's fun. See you later.